Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to a new video in this channel. Today we're going to be talking about a very important announcement. We're now beginning to work on our newest tutorial, one of the newest tutorials that we're going to be launching very, very soon, which is the Marmoset 4 tutorial. For those of you that do not know about the software, Marmoset is a real-time rendering engine that allows you to import a lot of different models, like all of your model textures and environments, and you can create a very nice scene to present them. Some of you might be familiar with this hand, this zombie hand from our uh, rigging course. And uh, here we have the, the hand uh, ready to create some or, or um, yeah, create some terror, some chaos. So as you can see, look at this. We have a very nice soft surface effect because inside of Marmoset, you're going to be able to light, shade, animate, export turntables, export a specific things for your portfolio in ArtStation or in Sketchfab. There's a lot of very, very powerful tools. In the newest update in Marmoset 4, which is the one that you're seeing right here, uh, they actually added a whole nother package to actually texture your object. You're going to be able to to use um, pre-made materials here from Substance, from Substance, from Marmoset, sorry. From Marmoset, you're going to be able to use uh, pre-made materials from Marmoset and create your own composition. So, for instance, I can go here into the Marmoset options. And if I want to see, okay, how would this hand look if it was made completely out of like a, like a worn metal? Just click this guy right here, import it into your scene. Let's just wait for this thing to load real quickly. It's downloading the file. There's libraries for uh, materials, brushes, scenes, skies. Like there's a lot, a lot, a lot of different things that again that you can uh, get into your uh, into your objects. Like here, where is it? There we go. So we just drag and drop, and there we go. We have a completely new like a metal hand. Look at the rust. It even it's even detecting some of the uh, some of the cavities and stuff. So yeah, it's a it's a very very powerful powerful package. It is using ray tracing. I believe here we have our uh, yeah. There we go. Where's the ray tracing? Well, okay, we can turn on ray tracing right now and it's going to give us an even better rendering right now because it's going to calculate the lights. So as you can see it's real-time rendering. It's a very, very powerful tool for a presentation. You're not going to learn modeling or sculpture in this course, but you're going to learn how to present all of the modeling and sculptures or models and sculptures that you have done in our past courses. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to this one. Uh, let us know in the comments what kind of a specific things you might want to learn from this course. I'm starting to record the, the easy things like the interface and how to work with the general process and stuff, but I know there's always like questions and and we want to change things a little bit here in, in next dude we want to make sure that you guys are involved in the creation process of, of our courses so that you learn not only what we think is the best things you need to learn for the software but also things that you want to learn things that you might be curious about maybe how do you render glass how do you render liquids uh can you animate things inside of uh, inside of marmoset or can you can you render an entire like animation scene from from marmoset and all of those questions we will be answering in our premium course so make sure to keep tuned make sure to to stay subscribed, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, just just be on the lookout for more news about uh, this course. Uh, tomorrow we continue with our spooky month. We're gonna be covering more themes. Uh, there's a couple of questions from the past videos. I wanna I wanna address those, of course. Feel free to leave a comment, a question, and we always try to look up on on those and and see whether we're gonna be uh, cooking up next. So that's it for me today, guys. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye bye.